how to beat Monkey Meadows on Magic Monkeys only. And for clarification here, I will not be using Monkey Knowledge. I have that turned off. So let's get into it. To start things off, we're going to use a druid monkey. We're going to put him right about here. By druid reach. Give him a little extra range. And let's go. Those presents are a Christmas event that's currently going on. When I get 20 of them collected, they'll stop popping up. Buy hard buildings. They uh, increase his popping power by a decent amount. The hard thorn druid reach druid monkey. It's actually pretty good for his cost. Definitely a good choice to uh, buy first. On most maps. Now I'm saving up to buy Quincy here. There we go. We'll put him right over here. Like that. Quincy is definitely one of my favorite heroes, I believe they're called. He pops camo, eventually he gets explosive arrows so he can pop legs. He does he does most things pretty well. Oh, and you can see camera. Yes. All right, next we're gonna buy a monkey alchemist. And I'm gonna build this guy down through the third path. So that way he generates income. He'll be the only income generator I'm using for this clear. I also do larger potions, just so we can hit more balloons. We'll grab faster throne and then lead the gold. That's what we're going for. You definitely want to have that boot 
before round 28. Yes. Because that's when the first slides show up. Will I win the gold quick? And now we're going to do a magic monkey right about here. Or wizard monkey. I guess it's technically it's a Right now, I'm saving up for Rubber to Gold, the final upgrade on the Mickey Alchemist. Or the final upgrade I'll be doing. I should say. Then we're gonna be upgrading the magic, <laughs> the wizard monkey, to arcane blast, and then we're gonna build it all the way down this third path. I'll also be using a ninja monkey placed right there. We'll build him Caltrops and Double Shot. Alright, so to prepare for the first move, you're going to want to buy a Monkey Alchemist, making sure only these two are in its range, build it down through this acidic mixture dip, and Berserker Brew, Acid Pool, Faster Throwing, Stronger Stimulant, 
counter stimulant. And then we'll do the same thing for these two. There we go. on the ninja monkey. We will be building him all the way through Grandmaster Ninja, but that will be later in the game. Give this guy the knockback tornadoes. Extreme useful. I love the Necromancer upgrade. It's one of my favorite upgrades. Well, one of my favorite upgrade paths in the game. He summons these undead balloons, which pop everything for you. Room, same as this one. Next, I'll be buying the Prince of Darkness, which is his last upgrade, and it allows him to reanimate moves, moves and BFPs to fight for you.
not quite enough. Just need about 600 more gold. So I'll just wait for the end of this round. There we go. Our Prince of Darkness. On the single path tracks, like this one and most of the other easy and intermediate tracks, the Prince of Darkness is pretty, pretty overpowered. He clears out basically everything by himself. Next upgrade I'm going for is Grandmaster Ninja. It's pretty expensive at 37,000, but we'll get there eventually.
Closing in on the 3700, so I will buy the Grandmaster upgrade. Oh, yeah. Probably necessary to buy that during the round on 76 to stop that ceramic regen rush. And by the way, we're set up to clear all 80 waves now. We shouldn't need to do any other upgrades. Just have to sit back and wait. Let the monkeys pop to the leaves. I will say, the Necromancer here needs balloons to be popped in order to summon up the balloons to fight for you, the undead balloons. Like right there, as soon as that balloon pops, you start summoning them. So you do have to keep that in mind when using the Prince of Darkness. But there you go, we have beaten the round. <sighs>